Welcome to Tacoma. This is the newest game from Fulbright, which you might know as the people behind Gone Home, which is easily one of my favorite games of all time. Tacoma came out in August, and at the time I wasn't able to play it, but finally I am, and I am excited. I've played for just maybe five minutes or so so far, just to tweak settings and make sure everything is okay. So let's begin a new game. All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Lunar transfer station to Coma. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply? Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now! Nice. Thanks, Minnie. And here we go. Oh, that's so strange. It looks like we're moving forwards, but we're not. It's just the docking things retracting. I just thought that was such a fantastic image when you turn around to dock and there's the Earth. So we're not that far away, really. When I first played, one of the first things I did is pick this up. This is one dollar twenty eighty seven Singapore Singapore coin. I picked it up and then I tossed it. And just just listen. Okay, it just clipped through the wall. That's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> But it makes wonderful clinky coin noises every time it bounces off something, and since we're in zero gravity, things keep bouncing. You can pick up everything, even a plastic space spork. Ah, I do wish that coin didn't disappear, though. And I don't believe there's a flashlight, so... I don't think I could turn one on, unfortunately. I did also notice this container. Look at it. Nelson's. Some cup noodle. And look at the detailing on it. Look at the rings around the top of it. And then inside, you can see, like, the rings from where the broth was. Kind of staining it. It's <laughs> so cool. This all looks very temporary. That looks like a bunch of duct tape around the outside. Minnie, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Minnie's adorable. A hardware transmits critical audiovisual information directly to your sensory cortex. Please affix your Venturus hardware to interface with this facility. Looks like it goes behind the ears.
Hello, I am Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guest, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. By entering this Venturis facility, you consent to the following. This facility uses augmented reality body positional tracking for a multitude of critical functions. Visitor body positional data as well as audio and visual data may be retained by Venturis Technologies and its subsidiaries to better ensure the highest level of security and service. By entering this facility, you relinquish all rights to any data collected by the augmented reality system and release Venturis from any future liability for its retention or use in perpetuity. I have some privacy concerns, but I guess I can't do anything about it. You, contractor, confirm it shall abide by the conditions of your contracting agreement, including in its respect to all data privacy rights of insurance technologies and its subsidiaries in perpetuity throughout the universe. <laughs> throughout the universe. That's something you don't see in contracts nowadays. Thank you. Welcome aboard. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturis Corporation. Any questions about privacy and personal privacy are uncertainly sent out to us. Massive data loss detected. <laughs> this is about where I stopped last time. That thing's so cute, what's it gonna do? Is it cleaning or is it gonna go through or... I wonder what it's spritzing. Air freshener or something? It's adorable, come here. Cleaning unit. Do not service vacuum unit while it is in operation. Romeo. Hey, Romeo. Alright, you can get back to work. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, so I think it shows you a tutorial prompt on how to do this in just a second, but I'll just do it here. We can access our, like, AR uh, dashboard HUD thing. So this is us. Amy Farrier. And then a bunch of dates and certifications and stuff. AI communications specialist. Yeah, so... So it said that the station has been evacuated, the AI is offline, and I'm a contractor here, doing the Tacoma job, whatever that is, and I'm an AI communications specialist, so I'm guessing... I don't know, maybe it was... Maybe there was a problem with the AI on board the station? And I'm here to try to fix it, and that's why everybody evacuated or something? There's a couple of QR codes. I wonder what they mean. I tried scanning this one down here, but I couldn't get it to work. I don't know, I was trying to take a picture of my monitor with my phone. Probably if I took a screenshot and tried that on a website, it'd probably work better. So let's see what we got here. Venturis Technologies, contract bid accepted, confidentiality terms accepted, facility access clearance transmitted, subcontractor mission brief. Crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma evacuated. Subcontractor sub shall board Tacoma, proceed to data access points in each habitable section, and transfer AI data from station to subcontractor vessel. Retrieve AI central processing wetwork. Return intact AI to Venturis. 
Subcontractor agrees to provide data transfer hardware and transport vessel. Oh, <laughs> it's telling me to press tab, which I just did. Subcontractor, subcontractor verifies transport vessel is capable of supporting Obsidian class artificial intelligence. A Venturus representative will be in contact remotely. Yeah, so the fact that they have to send somebody to retrieve the AI data and they can't just gather it themselves. Hello, goodbye. Suggests that, yeah, something obviously went very, very wrong. The whole thing shut down and they, I guess, could no longer do the usual things that they can do remotely. So they had to send somebody to go in in person. Crew roster. Function cargo transfer point between Earth surface and Zenith Lunar Resort. Cargo delivery managed by automated drone. Crew responsibilities oversee safe transit of cargo as it passes through facility. Huh. So is this the entire... Is this the entire crew? If so, it's quite small, but it does say that it's automated and cargo delivery managed by automated drones, so maybe they didn't need many people. Well, I'll read the rosters, I think, in a little bit. From Venturus Technologies, Subcontractor Farrier, we have transmitted Tacoma docking codes to your mini. Please proceed to the facility without delay. It's my location in the hub. Personnel, biomedical, engineering, docking. Okay. Let's start to look around. It's so cool how detailed everything is. You can just grab a random thing and just read it. Equilibrium Sickness Bag. A sway to the Tacoma Dome. Bring your friends. Or don't. Access denied. Uh, cryogenics? It's so strange, the way this is spinning. Oh my god. Orange team, orange team. Uh, I'm gonna be sick if I look at that too long. Oh, I just reset it. Was there a score on it before? I didn't pay attention. Oh, whoa. Can I actually make a score happen? Probably can. Holy crap, that was loud. Ah, it keeps moving. Okay, orange team wins. <laughs> hmm? Subcontractor Farrier, sign on to Tacoma's AR network successful. Please proceed to the personnel module to begin the AI transfer process. Your progress will be tracked. Let's get rid of those big colorful orbs. Like nothing on Earth. Rather magnificent. Odin. <laughs> the AI. There's personnel. But what if I went to observation first? Holy smokes! You're almost at the dome. Just a little more. Oh. Recoverable AR crew record data found captured three days ago. Three days ago, so there were people on board three days ago. That's quite recent that they evacuated then. Press space to recover AR data. So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but... There's that, and then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? 
No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. And there it stops. <laughs> that is such a cool thing. And it looks like I can rewind. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, wait. I probably should too. And pause. Oh my god, wait. They <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. That is such a cool system. Look at that skeleton. Skeleton lines. So it looks like up above shows a person's name, little picture, size of station administrator, EV St. James, Sarah Hosmati, medic. Well, let's take a look at their profiles, shall we? EV St. James, Administrator. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, I thought I'd have, like, a description of them. It's just a picture. And Sarah Hasmati, Medic. You made it. Thanks. Beautiful. It's really hard to resist the urge, since I just recently played Prey. Uh, it's hard to resist the urge to use the space zero G gravity controls from that game in this one, and they are not the same at all. <laughs> I love the sanitation drone so much, just spritzing everywhere. Alright, let's go to personnel access. Oh, what a cool tube. <laughs> There's ads. <laughs> Friggin' ads. Oh, look at that space puppy. Space puppy going after the space bone. has remotely disabled the station's AI, the station AI's ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma or contact you via the station's AR net. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Hmm. It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? They want me to get the data from the AI and take it with me and give it back to them, but they don't want me to communicate with it at all. They don't want me to find out what's actually happened. Makes me think that maybe the AI did something for a good reason that they don't want me to find out about. Ooh. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, when you stare at that now I feel like I'm spinning. Because I guess we are, right? It's so strange, you just look here and it's just like, hey, I'm just in a room. And then you look up here and... My entire perspective changes. Ugh. AI data access here. Uh, I think I'll do that last. Obsolescence day party this way. So is that why the place was evacuated? Because of obsolescence? 
Nah, the AI's going funky. Something else is up. Open, but it doesn't say it's locked or anything. No, well, I guess I have to get the AI data. Okay, we can send you secure messages through this interface, but it's a one-way connection. We'll be monitoring the situation from here. It's going to take a while for the first part of the AI net to go up. This is no simple file transfer. Okay. Oh man, this is going to take a while. So, looks like we have three different modules to upload, huh? Personnel, Biomed, and Engineering. So I guess, oh, it looks like now I can go through the doors. Right, so I guess while that's uploading, we just explore. All right, let's take a look at the Ops Lessons Party. This game is gorgeous, by the way. It's really good looking. Conference room. That's what? Did I just say death sentence? Of Venturis Corporation take I just said death sentence while I was flashing text down there. Is that the AI trying to communicate with me or something? Three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just uh, have my notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. Evie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transportation Tacoma. Whoa, what? <laughs> what did I just do? Uh. I don't know what this is. So I can restore. I can restore parts of the AR interface that they were looking at. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year review, of getting to- Review AR desktop. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so I'm like looking at their desktop and going over their notes. Okay. Okay, to Andrew, forward obsolescence day party instructions. Hey, Andrew, I have to get this report done before end of day. Can you get this ready for the party? I'm having one of those days. Thanks. From Odin, as requested, I prepared instructions for a campaign, uh, champagne cocktail. Grapefruit, champagne. Corporate report script. Remember positivity, body language, enthusiasm. Hi there. EV St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since blah blah blah. Hasn't an Odin proudest moment as a crew, so most of it's corrupted, it looks like. Oh. That one's totally corrupted. Cascadia FN Manufacturers Union brings new suit over death of workers at Tacoma, Washington plant. The legal battle something something ongoing for over five years now. One key fact in the dispute has never been denied. The deaths of 322 workers caused by exposure to dangerous chemicals during the production of how much the plant's management knew about the dangers to workers and when has been at the heart of the conflict. Today, a new lawsuit, something something, citing newly uncovered evidence that plant management has long been aware of the dangers to workers and failed to change their practices in time to prevent the deaths. So, a manufacturer's union is bringing a new suit over deaths of workers at Tacoma, Washington plant. So, is Tacoma the name of a company? 
Like, what is Tacoma? Because this is the Tacoma job. Is this space station Tacoma? But there's also a Tacoma, Washington plant? Which is obviously back on Earth. To know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting... Anyway, I'm... Let's go back. My notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. Edie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on-station AI. Though working with Odin's been great, hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh... <clears throat> okay, hold on. There's a thing on the timeline down there at the bottom. It's got some gears and a question mark. What does that mean? Wait, is it? Oh, wait. Stuff is playing over there, too. So it's not just for this room. But what exactly does that mean? Nothing new here, right? No, that's the same. So that's the calendars and everybody's jobs. Monthly priorities, discussion with Odin. Something mother. Eh, shower head. Shipment rescheduling. Fuck it, day. <laughs> Crew physicals. Light asteroid activity alert. Normal operations. That one's from Odin. So, just to understand what this gear icon is, is it something over here? What do these icons mean? That's like a lock. That's engineer. Is that their job? Uh, let's see, so Roberta Williams. Mechanical engineer. Yeah, that looks mechanical. Network specialist. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's what the icon means. It's the job. And you are... the world? I, whatever. I guess that represents the administrator in some way. Okay. Well, I'll let it play and then I'll come back to see what the gear icon thing is. On the timeline. The lunar resort has improved in efficiency by almost 4%. Though, most of that is thanks to Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, ah, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Odin? We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. Oh, I have an idea. I think the obsolescence day might be them becoming obsolete. It sounded like Odin was the new AI that they had installed on board. And I think maybe everything was going to become automated. Wait. Administrator's office. That's where that goes. Oh. Did they put in a basket? Of course. No. Okay, so I guess some parts of the information aren't going to be available right away necessarily. So I guess there is a bit of puzzle solving, huh? Unless I could listen in. Whoa, what was that? Just an explosion. Whoa. So there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? 
Correct. Additionally, how long does that give us? Jesus, how much? We should have about 48 hours of breathable air, maybe more, if Odin's readings are correct. All right, I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Well... So it sounds like they were thinking it was because of the meteor shower. But then somebody sounded like they were saying that it, like, it shouldn't be. Maybe it was something else, but either way, knocked out the comms and all that stuff. So at least we, I mean, we know the fate of them, right? As far as we know, they, the crew were evacuated. That's not to say maybe some of them didn't die, though. But they're probably safe. I hope. Roberta and Natalia, huddling together. I wonder if they're together? Like a couple? I'm sure there's definitely couples aboard. Gotta be. Sarah. Oh, this is the entire crew, isn't it? Because there's only six crew members, right? Yeah. That's everyone. So who are these other two people? Clive, operations specialist. And Andrew, botanist. Okay. Um, let's go back to the very beginning and hear this from the outside perspective, from the table around here. I can't believe it. Well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us. Us. Not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up, it's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. I don't know, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them. Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. I think you have a pretty nice can. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can you just try and make a go of it? One more year. Then we'll be back home in Singapore. You wouldn't believe the offshore habs they're building these days. 360 degree ocean views, personal drone dock on the mainland. That's called paradise. One more year. One more year. Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather okay, round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing computer companion, Odin. He so, hold on a second. It's never happened before. Um, Natalie and Roberta talking about it's never happened before. They're signing on for another year. What? They're talking about aboard the station, it sounds like. So is not everybody becoming obsolete? Or maybe the obsolete meant something different than some of the crew becoming obsolete? Not sure. He provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! oh! Did I step out of range? Oh, I, I guess I touched this. I guess that shut it off. Okay. Whoa. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have righted the station's orbit. Meteor shower? Um, but they said... Wait, um, so there's no oxygen I'm not on the station like except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Look, Additionally, no connection at all. Sarah, Jesus, how much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other AR channels. Nope. Right. Oh, this is so cool. There's so many aspects to this whole AR playback thing. You can walk around to hear different conversations and look at their notes and stuff of what they're looking at on their AR system. There's so much depth to this. I love it. I've never seen anything like it. Thing. I have righted the station's orbit. Meteor shower? Um, but they said... 
Wait, I'm not, so there's no I, I'm not getting an SI data connection. Right now. Correct. But look Additionally, at how long does that give us? Sarah? Jesus, how much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other AR channels. If Odin's readings are nope. Right. Nothing. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might. Okay, I think that's it for the talking, so let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the notes. Okay, so for here, I still don't know what that gear icon means. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the icons for who, oh, who has the notes that you can recover. Okay, okay. Applied with every wash. Hydrophobic coating. Waterfall. Gentle dish liquid. 2X. New. Barcelona. TM. Oh, I love how interactive everything is. I can't wait to find a flushable toilet. I can non-crew member profile detected only usable by the Tacoma station crew oh I can't turn on the burners all right then so you can either throw stuff or put it back if you kind of look at where it originally came from cool They really did put an incredible amount of detail into everything. Carnival. <laughs> Got those nice, deep stains inside the cup. Employee Retreat 2080. Well, that's an odd shaped mug. How unpleasant. Are things destructible? I mean, it's probably made it to some space age material that isn't. <laughs> it's so quiet. Avocado. Oh, delicious. an interesting color. Oh no. Put the fruit back. Fruit still looks perfectly fresh. Really has not been long since this place was evacuated. Piping bag for the cake. Some little cacti. Anything hidden in these bowls, hmm? Hiding snacks up here. Clive. Oh, that's the uh, champagne, I think, sleeve that was referred to in one of the notes for a recipe. Champagne sleeve, hmm. Irish breakfast tea. Assam and Darjeeling. I should make some tea. What other flavors you got? Oh, that's the same flavor, just the other side of the packet. Made in Oregon. Bixby, Bixby, Bixby. Authentic lager. Tomato nutrition bars. I mean, it looks like Venturist Technologies is the people behind all this stuff. Behind everything, it seems like, so I'm not sure exactly what the Tacoma plant is in this, I presume, Tacoma ship. Don't quite understand what Tacoma is. 
faded whiskey. Yep, that's the that's the faded symbol. Oh no! I'm gonna raid your snacks. It's a whole lot of rice. Chopsticks. Buttery crackers. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> Spicy curry butter? Spice level three. I thought that'd be like Rice crispy cereal. Not curry butter. That sounds really good. What? There's cat food? There's a cat? Oh, I want I want to find this cat. I hope there's an AR recording of the cat. Is that Russian? Oh, it's in a bunch of different languages. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, I want those. Oh, I want that too. Mochi. Beef chili mild. Tuna salad. So much detail in the environment. Oh, I'm in heaven. You know, I read some of the uh, Steam reviews. Not really for the reviews themselves. I was just looking at how long most people played it for, and it seems like it's a pretty short game. Probably around like three hours or so. But I was thinking, you know what? I'm pretty sure I made Gone Home two times longer than most people take to play it. So I'm probably going to make this like at least two times longer than it normally is. I just want to look at everything. Is there something in the trash? There's nothing in the trash. What's this? Tape measure. And it looks like... I think they use meters. Proving once and for all that... The stupid system we have in America the imperial system of using feet and inches and whatnot is garbage and meters will win out in the future. That's a future I could believe in. All right, Clive, what you got going on here? From Odin, party instructions, Clive. Divide the finished icing into batches of 32 fluid ounces, eight ounces and six ounces, blah, 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 food coloring. One piece of cake per crew member. Each piece of cake should measure approximately 11.01 .01 centimeters by 11.42. That's an approximation, huh? You rounded for that? All right. From Germain Burgess, I've entered voice range. Oh, and it says carnival up there. Just what it said on the cup. Hey man, it was great talking to you yesterday over AR. There's something I've been thinking about since. I know you and Evie have been a serious thing for a few months now, but I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't say, I think this relationship with Evie is not good for you, man. I think you might be getting taken advantage of again. I'm sympathetic. I've had my share of things that have started on a long haul posting. There's only so many people on board, and I get that Evie is dealing with some special circumstances. I do. Grief is mysterious, and something's especially with it being her sister. Take a step back, at least for now. Not every relationship has to be a forever thing. Hmm, so Clive is having a relationship with Evie. Evie's dealing with some special circumstances. Grief, especially with it being her sister. So it sounds like something happened with Evie's sister. Hmm. I'm not sure why he thinks Clive is being taken advantage of, though. It doesn't seem to say. Oh yeah, I should listen to the conversation here before they come out, huh? So the name Obsolescence Day, it's more like a joke. <laughs> you could say it's facetious. OK, 
Sky. You probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Out of curiosity, why did you think we were celebrating? I thought maybe it was when some old type of AI, you know, had become obsolete. But well, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like um, mighty redwoods. Ancient organisms growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. How do you think this looks? Huh. Um, sorry, this is what Odin wanted? <laughs> Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, <laughs> no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Here it is. Odin's masterpiece. Man, the voice acting is so good. All right, um, let's go ahead. Let's go forwards to the next note. So, Natalie, network specialist, what have you got? What? So this is Natalie's looking at this after the explosion, trying to gather data, see what's happening, right? Although I don't, I don't think this has anything to do with it, though. Off-station message with Cluey Dog. And then the, the fact that you signed a release to be constantly monitored is kind of fucked up. You think they're not doing anything with that data? I don't think they're not. I just don't care. Watch me on the toilet. Have a ball, you freaks, and I couldn't stop if I wanted. You could come up here, get a bunk on Tangiers. 100% distro crypt filters. It's a lot of fun. Krishna Buffet, 24-7. Uh, when's your... Your, uh... Core posting over. Corp core. Another year. Error connection lost. Retrying, retrying, retrying. Right, they lost comms, right? One... Dream. One... Merchandise officially licensed. Va Vainy Johnny? Does that say Vainy? And Wizard Marcus <laughs> Body Pillows. <laughs> oh, I love it. Natural Velvet. Low durability, but very soft and good image quality. Verified buyer. Very nice pillow. Soft. Failed to add to cart. Oh no. That's terrible. That... Wait a minute. I think I know that person. I think I've seen them. I think they're a person in games and I've seen them on Twitter. Emerisu or something? I think. From Odin, party instructions. Natalie, using scissors, please cut regulation cardstock. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, now, Sarah, the medic. What are you looking at? Status alert following impact from orbital debris. Tacoma has sustained critical damage to the following systems. The oxygen system tanks have ruptured. Auxiliary system failure. Tacoma's remaining breathable air, 50 hours. The communications mast has been critically damaged. Communications redundancies have failed. All communications channels to and from Tacoma have been lost. Yeah, three days ago, so this is all very, very recent. From Mom, Dad, regarding our friends told us about an opening for a surgeon at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Uh, but you aren't advancing at Venturis. You're something used to having such a prestigious and so far away. After what happened, loyalty debt from med school being what it is, any job with Venturis is better than something. You know that every day I regret uh, includes being posted in the middle of nowhere up here on Tacoma. I'll try and come home to visit soon. Love. Sarah. Is it Sarah or is it Saray? I don't know. Apologies if I'm messing up the names. A 
Okay, so I think that's it for this memory. <laughs> memory. <laughs> this AR recording. Let's see if there's flushable toilets. This game's beautiful. What an awesome bathroom. Music. Got books to read, AI maintenance. This volume is suitable to guide repair and maintenance of most high-level, weak, and semi-conscious AIs. The simple indexing system allows use even when AR is compromised or offline. This guidebook has been rated highly usable or better by an unaffiliated professional technical AI board. <laughs> JHU is considered the foremost authority on the structures and behaviors of house, organizational, or business and caregiver AIs. 2088 edition. So yeah, in this future, it seems like AIs are absolutely everywhere. Grab letter. Let oh, le letter. Literally like the letter O. Like a party size letter O. I was trying to figure out how that's a letter. I was thinking like, you know, a letter somebody writes to somebody else. Oh, that's cool. So you just stick your hands in, press a button, and it does it all for you. Well, I guess you still have to apply hand soap. Look at the texture just in the walls. The shine of it. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, first impressions. So far, this is fantastic. It looks great. It has characters that I'm already interested in. The voice acting's amazing. The whole... Fast forward, rewind, look at their data, pause. That whole thing is amazing. It is such a fantastic system for storytelling. There's so many opportunities of what you could do with that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.